Welcome back from the short break uh, after finishing question three. So now we are proceeding with question four from the very same paper, which is uh, November 2020 in bracket two. Um, we are now doing the last question of paper two, which is question four, which is based on stock valuation. Stock valuation. I hope you still remember that we have about three stock valuation methods. There is weighted average method, there is a FIFO method, and there is also specific identification. And we also have two stock control systems. The two stock control system is the perpetual system and the periodic system. And uh, the main differences between the two systems is that the perpetual stock system, cost of sale is calculated at the point of sale, but in the periodic stock system, cost of sales is calculated after a certain period of time. And these two stock control system have got their advantages and disadvantages. So, but our main focus for now is on question four, which is based on the stock valuation. And 4.1, it says give one word for each of the following statements. Write only the word next to the question numbers 4.1.1 to 4.1.4 in the answer book. This is stock valuation. Right. 4.1.1 4.1.2, 4.1.3, Right, the first one, it says, the method is most suitable for inexpensive goods purchased regularly. Which method is that one? The answer to that, it is the weighted average. Weighted average is more appropriate for the business that is selling inexpensive goods. So weighted average method is the most appropriate for the business which is selling inexpensive goods and which are purchased regularly. 4.1.2, the closing stock balance is recorded at the most recent price paid. That is first in, first out. Closing stock balance is recorded at the most recent prices paid we are looking at FIFO FIFO which is first in first out 4.1.3 the individual stock items are valued at the cost price on the purchase invoice individual stock items we are looking at we are we are targeting individual stock items that is specific identification so the answer to this one is specific identification specific identification right the cost of sales is recorded for every sales transaction cost of sales is recorded for every sales transaction. We are looking at the perpetual system. Perpetual system. And this is four marks. So you should be able to know. Please make sure that you go through this and you are very much clear about differences of these stock valuation methods and also the stock control system. So that was 4.1, where in the method suitable for inexpensive goods is the weighted average. The closing stock balance is recorded in the most recent prices, that is first in, first out. Individual stock items are valued at cost price on the purchase invoice, that is specific identification, and the cost of sale is recorded for every sales transaction you're looking at the perpetual stock system. And now it's 